Hey everybody, Rich here. Windows 7 calculator. Not too exciting, is it? Well, it's not supposed to be, but there are certain things I use the calculator for a lot, and I'm going to show you a few of them here. I happen to use the date calculation feature quite a bit, because Otherwise, I would have to go on the web to something like timeanddate.com to perform the same function. It would take like three times as long <clears throat> because that's the way it works in web browsers. But here it's easy. Now I'm going to calculate the difference between two, there's two functions here. Calculate the difference between two dates and add or subtract days to a specific, uh, excuse me, specified date. Now I'm going to first calculate how many days, how much, excuse me, how much time has passed since December 7, 1941. And if you know your history at all, that's the Pearl Harbor attack on the United States. So we'll do that one. So I'm going to do from deck 7, 1941 to today. So I'll drop this down. And first I need to get it to the year. Now you don't have to use the left and right. You can just do this. Now see it says July 2012. I click, then it goes to months, I click it again, it goes to years, I click it again, it goes to decades, and then I go left once, and 1940 through 1949, 1941, December uh, 7, there it is, and calculate. So, it has been 70 years, 7 months, 1 week, 2 days, or 25,789 days since the Pearl Harbor thing. And uh, that's from 7 December 1941 to 16 July 2012. Now we'll do something a little simpler. And you can use this to, uh, when you buy stuff off eBay, if you want to know when something is going to arrive for shipping and things like that. So first I'll change the from date to today. So I'll drop that down and you can just click today and it goes to today and I will say add or subtract days to a specified date now let's just say I'll throw out a weird number um, 11 okay 11 days from now what day is that going to be so I just 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 calculate 7 I'm sorry 11 days will be Friday, July 27, 2012, from today, 16 July 2012. That's easy, and it's convenient, because if you are if you need to know, okay, what day is it going to be after a specified number of days, that's pretty awesome. Or, here's another good one. Let's just say you have a, um, you buy something from Best Buy or some electronics store, and you want to know, and it says, okay, you have a, a uh, 14 day return policy okay what's 14 days from now add 14 days to today that would be Monday July 30 let's just say it has a warranty period of 90 days change to 90 Sunday October 14 2012 really easy so that's why I love the Windows 7 calculator app because you can do stuff like this and that's from view and uh, date calculation simple or just pressing control E as it shows here another one that I like is the uh, unit conversion but before I do that you can actually uh, let me bring that up so you can see the menu a little better there's actually an, a miles per gallon calculator a uh, per 100 kilometer fuel econ economy calculator calculate a vehicle lease I mean it's great what you can do in this now the uh, other one that I use a lot is the uh, unit conversion and like let's see what's the easiest one I could oh statute to metric that's a good one okay now of course in the United States we use statute measurements which is inches feet yards um, what's the next one that geez I can't even remember miles after yards I think so well anyway so we'll do length and let me bring this up so you can see the menu better 
Okay, so centimeters, chain, fathom, feet, kilometers, meters. We'll do something simple uh, like yards to meters. Okay, so a football field, which in, in the United States is not the same as in the UK, because football, we call a football suck, uh in the UK, soccer, <laughs> in the United States, anyway. So let's just say I wanted to do uh, 100 yards to how many meters is that? A football field in the United States is 100 yards in length. So I will do a yard to a meter. And enter a value, 100, and it auto-calculates the moment you do it. So you don't even have to hit a calculate button. 100 yards is 91.44 meters. Or if you were going to do something like, um, I'm a guitar player and I know that the scale length of a Fender Stratocaster is 25.5 inches. And let's just say I wanted to uh, convert that to metric, to a millimeter. So I would change this over to inch and to 5.5 and change meter to, let me bring that up so you can see it better, millimeter. So 25.5 inch is 647.7 millimeter. Let's just say you wanted to see how tall you were in centimeters rather than feet. So uh, because more often than not, in countries outside the United States, the height is measured of a person is measured either in meters or centimeters. Or actually, let's just do the simpler one, just uh, feet to meters. Okay, so someone who is, uh, we'll do feet here, six feet tall, and change that to meter. So six feet is 1.8288 meters. And all of this is really simple, and it, you already have it if you're running Windows 7 anyway. And it's uh, right here. I'm not sure about Linux calculators in the uh, GNOME environment. I'm sure they must have the same functionality as the Windows 7 one does. But the, I'm using Windows 7, so this is the one I use. And yes, once you start using this, uh, it's amazing because all the calculations are right here. And in addition, you know, just from length, you can change... Uh, convert angles, areas, what's the one for power? Oh yeah, a horsepower, kilowatt, watt, foot pound per minute. Um, in pressure, you've got atmosphere, bar, kilopascal, millimeter of mercury, just, oh, the, the, yeah, <laughs> definitely the easy one. Uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, you've got that one for temperature. Uh, whoops, not velocity, time. And, uh, oh, yeah, here's another one. How many seconds are in a day? Okay, so one day to second is 86,400 seconds. If you do any programming at all with PHP or JavaScript or something like that, you need these figures sometimes because uh, when you're doing scripting, sometimes if you're going to do a timed script, it is best to do it in seconds rather than uh, calculate by day or something like that. So anyway, a whole bunch of stuff here. So the calculator is good in Windows 7. It's, I would dare to say it's great. And I use it a lot, and so should you.